Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Today I have some interesting statistics for you from Transport Canada regarding drone registration and pilot certification. Let's get into it. Well, it's been just over a year since the 2019 Canadian RPAS regulations were announced, and I have a report from Transport Canada with the status in numbers. First up, the number of pilot certifications. Nearly 29,000 Canadians have attained the basic RPAS pilot certification level. A further 3,000 have passed the advanced exam and flight review. Nearly 500 more have become flight reviewers themselves. When the rules were first announced, Transport Canada estimated there were 140,800 RPAS pilots in Canada. So if that estimate is correct, only about 20% have become certified, at least so far. Now here's a curiosity. I published my study guide for the basic operations exam in mid-January, and to date there have been nearly 64,000 views of that video, or 2.2 views per basic pilot. Given the subject matter, I don't think too many people are watching this video who aren't trying to pass their exam. So I'm thrilled to see I've contributed in some way to folks having their woohoo moment. The study guide for the much tougher advanced exam has had nearly 19,000 views or 6.2 views per person attaining their advanced pilot certification. So is that it? Is everyone done? Well, maybe that estimate of 140,000 pilots might be about right. If we consider the views of my study guide as an indicator, you can see that there are lots of people still learning. This video was released January 19th, 2019. There was a sharp uptick in June after the new regulations came into effect, curiously, and since then there has been a continuing number of views. Maybe it's beginning to level, but not by much. Now let's look at drone registrations. As of January 3rd, 2020, 38,023 RPASs have been registered. But despite the low $5 fee and pretty simple process, again, less than 20% of Transport Canada's estimate of drones in Canada have been registered. Like the pilot certifications, drone registrations still seem to be happening at a steady rate roughly 3,000 per month before the regulations kicked in, and 3,300 per month after the June 1st deadline. Certainly the very low key publicity of the regulations must have had something to do with this. I still hear lots of people who are just hearing about their drone regulations now, but only because they've acti actively looked around. As far as I can tell, Transport Canada has done nothing to encourage drone sellers to tell new buyers that they have to register their drone. So unless you're really seeking it out, you're not really likely to know. By the way, these numbers suggest roughly 1.2 RPASs per certified pilot. The package I received from Transport Canada also had interesting stats about the drones themselves. They list out over 200 unique manufacturers. Well, that's including home-built or kit-built RC aircraft. But of those, the top four represent 86% of all RPAS registrations. Not surprisingly, DJI comes out on top with an incredible 81% of the Canadian market. Next in line is Parrot with a mere 3%, less than a thousand drones, followed by Unique, and a bit of a surprise, GoPro's Karma. Everyone else is less than 1% each. Finally, if we look at the top 10 DJI models, we see these numbers. The Mavic Air won the race by a slim margin over the Mavic Pro, with the Mavic 2 Pro and Spark nearly tying in positions 3 and 4. And in case you're wondering where the Mavic Mini is hiding, well of course, being under 250 grams, it's not required to be registered, and, and these numbers are only drones that have been registered. Now, that said, there are over 50 Mavic Minis in the list. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel, and I'd love to hear your comments down below. Thanks again.